Okay, so we, first of all, um, okay, I didn't have 99% alcohol. It's still on its way in the mail, but I am going to use my 91%. So the first thing I'm going to do is, um, I have got some of these little, um, you actually get them in the, the first aid section of, of Walgreens, and they are like a little lint-free um, cloth because that's what you need to try and get because something else I forgot to mention is you need a lint free surface so what I've done is I've put some of these um, it's like tissue paper I buy these from the container store and they are like almost like tissue paper maybe a little bit thicker and they are totally lint free and I use them and then these are like um, that you put on your wounds I can't remember what it's called now um, and I use them to clean. You can do that or cotton swabs, but cotton cotton wool tends to make a lot of fluff, so I don't necessarily care for using that. So I prefer these. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my nafta. So I'm going to take my screwdriver and I'm just going to open the can. Okay. And then I'm just going to take, you can either pour a little bit of this stuff out into a glass container. Because plastic, I don't know how well plastic will do with this. But I'm just going to put it on this um, first aid swab that I have. And I'm going to start wiping down my silicone part with this nafta. This is basically prepping your silicone. And as you know... Any silicone that's poured needs to be actually painted within at least two days. But if you've got a kit that's been standing for some time, you will need to prep it. Otherwise, um, your silicone will not stay. So I'm making sure I'm removing this. Now the nafta um, is a little bit greasy to the touch. But once we're done with cleaning it, we will go ahead and use some of the alcohol to remove some of that oil again. Okay, so you can see there's quite a bit of dirt that came off this face. Okay, so our next product will then obviously be our, our alcohol. And I'm going to add that to the swab as well. This little first aid swab I've got here. It's basically like a gauze. But it's the it's not the normal fabric one. This is more like a well, it's like a little lint free, free cloth. Okay, so I'm going to use this alcohol to wipe down again. I'm just going to turn this inside out. And wipe it some more. Now the alcohol actually evaporates quite quickly. So you can imagine with, with your 99% it will be even faster to get rid of, of this and for it to flush off. Okay, okay. so now that my face has been prepped, I'm now ready to start uh, mixing up my first silicone. So I am going to take my little plastic. Um, because this is only a small face. So this is why I'm going to use this to mix up instead of my mixing bowls. Because I don't need a lot of, of mixture. So the first thing I'm going to use is my... Um, I like using the lip color. Okay. So now you need to remember about silicone is that for every one part of part B which you take, which obviously is this, you will need equal parts of part A. Okay, so basically that's how much of the one I'm using. Now I need to eat, add equal part of my A than what I have of part B. Part B is always the color. So 
So that's about equal. So now I'm going to take my little spatula and I'm going to start mixing up these colors. Now obviously this is quite thick and we don't want it that thick so I'm going to take some of my naphtha. Okay so for the naphtha I'm going to use a little glass bowl. Um, I've cleaned this out so I'm just going to add a little bit of naphtha to, to this little bowl of mine because I need this on hand. Now you don't have much time to play around so you will need to go ahead immediately and start mixing up now I'm not pouring any naphtha in here because you cannot have too much of it so I'm just basically wetting my spatula and mixing that naphtha in with my silicone until I get a better consistency so it's literally a drop by drop that you add Now your work time, I would say you need to get this done in about 15 minutes. That's why you don't mix too mix um, big batches at a time. Just just mix up what you can use, otherwise you're going to lose a lot of silicon. And we all know this stuff is quite pricey. So that might still be a little bit thick, so I'm going to add another drop. Okay, that's now quite well mixed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of my sponge. Now I would just tear off a piece that I can use. And then I'm going to add some of this um, mixture of mine to my sponge by just lightly dunking it into the sponge. Just the tips. As you can see, it's only on the tips. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to add some mottling to my silicone. Now remember, um, silicone is a very shiny product, so your doll will become shiny from the silicone. But remember, we are going to seal it off at the end. So don't stress about that just right now. So you keep on adding a layer. Until you've covered your whole face. Now there, um, after we're done with this, obviously we're going to have to leave this to dry. Now usually within two hours you should be able to, to carry on, but you can speed this up by using a hair dryer to dry your silicone. It all depends on your weather conditions. If you've got very humid, humid conditions, it might not dry as quickly so the hair dryer does help that along okay so our first coat of mottling has been done I don't think the color is very good on this I will try and set the coloring of this video once we are done yeah okay so now you're going to leave this to dry make sure there's no big old blotches of silicon on your doll just kind of blend them in a bit and then um, we're going to leave this to dry and once it's set we will carry on with our next coat